I have made several videos showing you some incredible Android applications you can use on your Android smartphone for a better user experience and I realize you guys love these videos so much. So in this video, I've decided to show you how I've customized my Android home screen with these Android applications and also show you some applications that has helped me personalize my Android smartphone. So if you dig it, leave a like on the video and let's jump right into it. Starting off is this brown and moody wallpaper from the X account of Walls by JFL. Walls by JFL contains some high quality wallpapers for smartphone and PC. You can find the wallpapers by joining their group on Google Photos or following them on X where wallpapers are constantly posted. I actually could have gone with a flat and minimal wallpaper which is my best choice but for the sake of this video and some of my viewers who love this type of wallpapers like cars, superheroes, cities and more, I decided to go with this one and it actually makes the perfect background for this setup. It is free to get so feel free to grab it as I mentioned from the Walls by JFL X account or download it with a link in the video description. Let's look at the icon pack on show for this setup. Considering this wallpaper, I felt like a white minimal icon pack will fit or even an icon pack with a moody feel like creamy icon pack or desaturated icon pack will do but for the sake of dynamic theming, I went with this icon pack called 1U Accent. Going with this icon pack makes it easier to maintain this setup even if I change the current wallpaper because this pack comes with dynamic theming as I mentioned and so with the change of wallpaper, the icon pack changes theme to match the current wallpaper. The icon pack itself contains over 10,000 custom icons and you can change their shape when applied on custom launches. You can also try other icon packs with dynamic theming like lawn icons or lawn icons, picks you light or dark for this setup. I'm sure by now you've realized the theme for the setup which means the widget must also be dynamic when it comes to theming and to be able to match the current wallpaper and the icon pack. Again, there are several options for adaptive widgets and for this setup, I went with Snow Cone for KWGT. I've been using this widget pack for a long while and it's actually one of my favorites due to the adaptive ability and its responsiveness. The widget pack comes with a flat and minimal clock weather, system icons widgets, music widgets and more and they all look clean and simple so for setups which are not popping or too saturated, you can go with this widget pack. And of course, you need the famous KWGT Pro version to be able to load these widgets onto your home screen. So for the setup, I got two widgets, one on top being a date, time and weather widget which is labeled ATA84 and a very responsive music widget at the bottom which is labeled AT101. With these applications out of the way, let's look at the elephant in the room which is the launcher I used for this setup. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, kindly consider doing so to join this community of Android lovers. Nova Launcher has been my all-time favorite launcher. In fact, my very first video on this channel uploaded back in 2018 was about Nova Launcher setup. And if you haven't seen that video yet, well, go check it out. So even though I've been using other launchers, some for testing purposes and some just for switching sake, however, Nova Launcher has always been my go-to launcher. I currently have the 8.0.17 Prime version installed, which is a recently released version, although there is a newer version, the 8.0.18, also recently released. For the setup, the home screen grid I went with 8x5 and I disabled the dock and the icon labels to help bring out a minimal and clean look. And for the app drawer, I have categorized the apps so it looks organized and makes it easier finding a particular application. As a Nova Prime user, I get certain features unlocked, which I will leave you to explore. However, one that I would love to mention is the ability to make an icon the cover of a folder and swiping up on the icon to open the folder which also adds up to the minimal look of the setup. There are other settings made in the launcher which cannot be mentioned so feel free to grab the backup file I've created for easy application of this setup in case you want to apply it onto your home screen. I created a second page which has some widgets from applications I use daily like this transparent to-do list widget from the productivity application called TickTick. And you can change the theme and transparency of the widget to match your current home screen setup. And then I also have this Chrome search bar widget for quick search. 
and lastly some folders containing applications I test to make a video about. So with this last folder it contains some incredible customization applications so I'll make a video about customization apps very soon. Now the following are simple applications which has enabled personalization of my device. Volume which makes me use the phone volume up and down buttons to skip tracks instead of opening the music player or accessing the music widget. Action notch which makes a single touch on the phone's notch turn on flashlight, double tap to take in screenshots and long pressing to pause or continue any music or video from any media application. And lastly, a system level setting which allows extra dim of the screen in low light areas by holding down both the up and down volume buttons. So this is how I've customized my Android currently with these incredible customization applications. If you loved the setup, again, consider subscribing to the channel and also leave a like and leave a comment to let me know if you love Android home screen customization videos. That's it for this video and as always, thank you for watching.